Now, as a Nest main myself, I feel like it's about time to make a video like this. If some of you have come into my streams in the past, you know I like to play Ness in Melee for fun. And it's mainly as a challenge because the character is so bad in Melee, the challenge is almost kind of fun to stunt on people with this character. Now, why you ask is, well, there's really isn't a lot to this character. Let's first talk about what makes a character bad in Melee. Melee favors fast options because of the fast-paced gameplay, and overall characters that are significantly slow or have maybe not the fastest options are going to have a tough time dealing with characters like Fox and Falco, who overall are going to outframe data each character. A low tier like Bowser being a great example of a character that is not only slow, but he is a large character, as well as having one of the longest jump squats in the game. You can be a slow character, let's say like Peach for example, but Peach has other options in her kit like her extremely strong way to offset some of her weaknesses, even though she's somewhat slower than the rest of the cast. She has things like her down smash for example, which are really good at shutting down approaches. Also another thing that really helps in melee is good range, how distro are your attacks? How favorable are your attacks in general? Do they link into each other's character's punish game? That was a pun, I did that intentionally. Does the character even have a punish game? Marth being an extreme example of what I'm kind of going to here as he shuts down a lot of characters with a lot of horrible range because he's literally one of the most disjointed characters in the game because of that large sword making it hard for characters who lack range just simply want to pull out their hair. But for real, I will go over this later for Ness, so don't worry, I'm planting a little bit of a seed there. Ness pretty much has all the weaknesses that I previously stated and much, much more. Put all those cons in a blender and that pretty much makes up Ness pretty well in Melee. Point 1. Ness isn't the slowest character but he isn't that fast either. Overall his options are generally slow enough where in comparison with the rest of the cast, it's not really doing him any favors. His tilts aren't really disjointed at all, while some of them have some niche use here and there, aren't really the fastest or furthest reaching moves because he's really stubby. His aerials are kinda decent though, his back air most specifically being kind of a pseudo falcon knee. His up air combos fast followers pretty well, for some reason I have no idea why, it's just one of the few good things he can do. He has a down air that's somewhat decent. His fair lacks a lot of disjoint, but it isn't really that powerful, but it's, it's there. It's sad to say that he doesn't really have that many approach options in his kit in general. His down air is kind of powerful, but again, it's kind of slow at the same time. And honestly, it's bad because of this, because Ness has overall very stubby limbs. So while a move isn't that bad, it's not really doing him any favors from a lot of the startup that is there and some of his moves, like his down air for example. He does have double jump cancelling which helps cancel the momentum from his jump to allow him to do quicker aerials, but again Ness is so slow it, it doesn't really help him that much. It is required though if you are trying to play this dog shit character in melee though to learn double jump cancelling. Because Ness lacks a lot of proper disjoints, that means he's going to have a lot of trouble against characters like Marth and Sheik who are going to make it so Ness can barely put a dent into them. And while cough cough Ness has pretty much a losing matchup to almost every single top tier in melee, it really doesn't do him any favors. His entire moveset just sucks in general. For Fox and Falco, Ness might have a few cute things here and there like a chain grab on them with his up throw and up air, but characters like Peach, Marth, and Sheik specifically just unplug your controller. They're basically just going to shut down all of Ness's options because they outrange him or just their options are just way better in general. Marth makes me want to pull my hair out just every time. Point 2. Ness's special moves make me want to switch characters. And you guys are going to complain about PK Fire. Oh come on, PK Fire is so annoying. No it's not, okay? Ness's special moves are like buying eggs at the grocery store and then going home and realizing you bought an entire carton of cracked eggs. Compare that to Fox and Falco who have a frame 1 shine, the blip blip, and Ness's down B, for example, the Dollar General knockoff, I like to call it, is not only slower, but it doesn't even do any damage. I'm not trying to say that Ness needs to rip off Fox in order to be good, but it's literally not even good at all. It strictly absorbs projectiles, and then it doesn't even absorb all projectiles in the game. It only absorbs energy projectiles. So enjoy getting projectile camped by characters like Young Link. And it's really slow, so if you accidentally use the move in neutral, you probably are going to lose a stock. And I'm not even kidding when I say that. It's probably one of the most pointless moves in his entire moveset, maybe in the game, I don't even know. Even on a casual level, this move isn't even good. Like, what were you thinking, Sakurai? I know Melee was developed in like two months. I'm kidding when I say that. 
Not even casually, this move isn't even fun. It's bad. Moving on. PK Flash. It's probably one of Ness's most powerful moves. It's incredibly slow, gets interrupted if you touch a platform, or if Ness gets hit while he's trying to do the move. It's hard to control on top of that, and should I go further? It also sends Ness into free fall if he does it off stage, which why would you do this move off stage? I have no idea. It's pretty much a meme move, but if you actually land it on somebody, they probably will rage quit and unplug their controller. It's kind of cool, so maybe do that if you want. Speaking of more special moves that are horrible, his recovery being probably the worst recovery in the game, considering it's so slow, it can be interrupted by other characters. Shy guys can actually interrupt it as well, which is kind of hilarious considering just how many bad cons Ness has. Yeah, shy guys can gimp Ness. Yes, that happens. If you want me to keep going, this recovery is also pretty hard to do in general, and you have to practice it because it's probably one of the most finicky recoveries in the game. Fox and Falco also. All they gotta do is up B and then hold an angle. Marth just has to hit the button. But Ness has to pray that he angles his up B so it can hit himself, and it not only is one of the laggiest recoveries in the game, while it is powerful, it's no way makes it viable whatsoever, considering it can be interrupted quite easily. And also, if you land on stage with up B, there is a lot of lag. So if Ness isn't gonna be landing safely, he's probably going to die. It's, I'm not even understating that. He by far has some of the worst specials in the game. And that goes to all you people who think PK Fire is a good move in this game, because because it's just not. Point three, his range. If you told Ness that he had to hug somebody in order to save his life, Ness would probably miss every time. Having some of the worst range out of any fighter in the game. This is one of the biggest reasons why he will never be good, because one of his strengths, and why he isn't a bottom bottom tier, Bowser tier in a way, is his grabs are actually okay. Pun intended. You know I love a good pun. You guys know the drill, up throw combos on spaces actually work, and it's one of the few options that he actually has to combo them, and it leads into his trusty up air combos. Wow, look at Ness, he's actually doing something for once, oh my god, look at him go. His down throw can sometimes be a combo throw too on heavy characters. Although this isn't Smash 4 where it's literally used all the time in that game, but Ness can take some positives and just have a decent throw I guess. His forward throw can gimp early, and his back throw can actually be a kill throw. One of the few characters in the cast to actually have a kill throw. Now, those are nice and all, but if Ness's grab actually worked correctly, where he could maybe use these things more often, because his general grab range is so bad, you're not going to be using these probably as much as Ness would maybe want to. I mean, just try running up on Marth and trying to grab him is like, just why? Just, it's not going to work. It seems like one of the ideas they had for making Ness was to make him sort of a grappler type character. One with having grabs as one of his biggest strengths, and you can kind of see that within his moveset. However, because you can't actually grab characters consistently because his grab in general is so bad and he's so stubby and slow, it's just not gonna happen. It's almost more risky to use the grab in general to get to those actual positives that he has in his moveset. Point four, yes, this continues. Who decided these smash attacks were okay, by the way? Okay, so so get ready, hold, hold on to your seats for this one. In fact, pause the video, get some popcorn. Are you guys ready for these smash attacks? Because here it is. Up smash, yes, his, his up smash attack. It won't KO your opponent until, guess the percentage, 500%. If you guess 500%, you guess correctly. I don't know why it's this way, but down smash, you ask? Yeah, it doesn't KO until 400%. I don't know what move, what smash attack should be KOing at that percent, because some tilts in this game KO at maybe less than that percent. Here we are, I guess. I, I just don't understand. They don't even have disjoint at all. They're not even fast. They're not even good at racking up damage. They're not even that viable at all. They're just there. And yes, I know about jackets. We can go over that a little bit later. These are probably the two most worthless smash attacks probably in the game. Just pretend they don't exist, actually. Yes, Ness does have a semi-decent forward smash with some actual decent moves in his kit. He still just struggles to KO, even if he gets the tip or hitbox on the edge of his bat. So, the yo-yo glitch. I never thought I would have to explain this technique, but probably people always want to know how would Ness be if someone mastered this technique. Ness would maybe be one of the most broken characters ever, right? Well, honestly, it's like praying to a full moon that you're going to turn into a werewolf or something. Like, it's so garbage because up smash in general is honestly a garbage move. This technique is never really going to be tournament viable. You're not going to see Ness beating Mango with the yo-yo jacket technique. Like, it's not going to happen. 
There's a frame window when using up smash when hitting your opponent, which we talked about earlier isn't something you really want to do. If you get that frame window when you hit somebody with Ness's up smash, if you get lucky, you let go at a very specific frame. This gives Ness probably one of the most broken glitches that is allowed in competitive play. And the likelihood of hitting this frame and let alone hitting your opponent with up smash in general is already pretty hard to do, so it's not really a consistent glitch. As I stated earlier, it requires hitting your opponent, and so if your opponent is near the jacket, you have a variety of options that are in your disposal. This is where the rabbit hole really expands even more because Ness can grab opponents from any distance really at all, it gets kind of crazy. So yeah, Ness can hit people from the other side of the stage even though he's completely not even near them. He also can wear a jacket where he can wear a hitbox basically on his body and it just leads into kind of crazy just wacko stuff that is rarely going to happen in a real game of melee because most people know this glitch exists. They're not going to really let Ness hit him with his garbage up smash. And not only that, you have to get the specific frame window too. It's kind of weird, but it's there. Melee is a weird game. But again, like I said, this stuff isn't really tournament viable. The Marth matchup still sucks for Ness. The Peach matchup is still gonna suck for Ness. Jackets aren't really the saving grace to this character. So let's talk about Ness when it comes to Project M and Project Plus. What did Ness receive in Project M? It's pretty obvious in Melee that Ness was a wannabe grappler type character. He has very strong attributes of a grappler character in his moveset, and he has strong projectiles that aren't really that good though. When transitioning to Project M, Ness's entire moveset has been uplifted to be more useful in general. His special moves? PK Fire is finally a viable projectile. It's not the best projectile in the game, but it's definitely way better than it was in Melee for sure, hands down. PK Flash was given a diagonal direction on the move, probably inspired by Lucas's PK Freeze in some way. Ironically, Smash Ultimate ended up giving Ness some sort of similar diagonal angle to this move, which is a bit ironic, but moving on. PK Thunder in general is still a decent projectile and now is a lot better at recovering and it allows a less riskier and slow way of getting back on stage, less lag to the move in general. Ness still is going to have a pretty risky time recovering but the amount of risk that was frankly in melee that was to the point of being overkill has been reduced, thankfully. Ness finally has a much safer recovery. It still has decent KO potential, which is nice, and you know, I think it just fits the character way better. PK Magnet has been made into sort of a pseudo shine. While it's still slower than a regular shine from Fox or Falco, it has been sort of made to imitate it in a way in more situations you can kind of use it as a shine in some ways even though it is slower. This adds another layer of depth into his moveset because now he can do a lot of magnet confirms on people. Overall the move is pretty night and day better. He can now jump out of the move which thankfully is one of the nicest things the PM devs probably did to Ness. It's not overpowered but it's just overall better for Ness as a character. His aerials have been given inspiration from Smash 64, where Ness had much faster aerials overall, which helps him out for sure. His down air, which was previously really slow in melee, had a lot of startup, is a lot more quicker, so it's definitely really good off stage. Fair is a better combo starter. It isn't a bad move in any way, so it, it, again, it's definitely better. His smash attacks, you ask? They finally have a lot more utility than they did before. His up smash and down smash aren't amazingly broken moves, but they serve more purpose than they did in melee where they were practically useless. Up smash is a great combo starter and it has decent combo options on fast fallers or it can kind of link into each other, it's, it's nice. And down smash can actually cover both sides of Ness's character model, so this move is actually good at covering roles. Overall what they did in Project M was kept a lot of the good in the character that was in melee and just kind of just expanded on it. He has strong grabs, a decent projectile now, aerials. The goal was to make Ness into a stronger character while keeping the soul of Ness still intact. So they buffed his grab, it's not nearly as slow as what it was before thankfully, he can now actually use a lot of his incredible grab confirms that he has. Having two combo throws and two KO throws is pretty nice to have in a moveset, and not only that, having much stronger KO power in general with his strong aerials and having some much stronger projectiles as well. Ness in Project M still has some of the same issues he has in melee, but if I had to be real with you, 
the Marth matchup is still going to be difficult for Ness because he's still a stubby character. He doesn't have a lot of disjoints, even in Project M. Ness has the tools to be able to contend with Marth and characters like him this time around because Ness's options are overall much better comparable to the rest of the cast, which is why Ness isn't a broken character by any stretch of the means. So yeah, Ness is probably gonna have trouble getting in even in Project M and Project Plus, even though he's mostly buffed. But this time around, he can actually contend with the other characters, and he isn't being left in the dust to the bottom of the tier list. Uh, I guess unless you're one of those people that believe Ness is the low tier in Project M, but if that's your point, I got nothing for you. That's the video. I appreciate you guys for watching the video all the way to the end. If you guys are interested, you can like, comment, and subscribe to get more content like this. Also, there's a Patreon in the description where they get videos early, and there's a Discord community if you guys are interested in joining that. I definitely appreciate that, so shout out to my patrons, and shout out to you guys for watching the videos. I definitely really appreciate that. I hope you guys like this video too. This is more of a comedic style video, kind of just straight to the point. And, and Ness is like definitely a character I've played for like years. So this kind of hits straight to home for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace out.